matter if you're a Republican or Democrat. If you're an American, call the United States of America home. You know how fortunate you are to say stupid shit with no repercussions? Very fortunate. I'm not debating the assassination attempt on Trump. That it was a coup, an inside job, that it was staged. One thing I'll out and out say, not a fan of Biden. Put Biden in Trump's shoes. I'm not celebrating that. It's not a good thing. Democrat, Republican, somewhere in the middle, we're all human. And if you call the U.S. home, then we're all Americans too. But for the blatant disrespect we're so fortunate to do, because we live in a free country. Well, if only the bullet was a little bit closer, almost got the job done. You fucking idiot. Love or hate Trump. That's a former president. There's something in life called reverence. And you revere something. Hold the high regard. Whether you disagree with the president's policies, their character, the media paints them to be. Somebody didn't try to take out Hitler. They tried to take out a former president, a sitting candidate that very well could be our next president. Not even a Trump lover. But some folks, you have got to realize, if I wouldn't say something word for word to somebody's face, I probably shouldn't say it behind a keyboard either. But hey, how fortunate are we to live in a country where we can act like wild animals? Love them or hate them, still a human. He is a former president, and he just might be our next president. Shouldn't rejoice at awful things in life. That's sickening. Do better.